Niaje. Niaje. Welcome to the Niaje Vibes Show. Kama kawaida, I'm your girl Fatma. I'm your babe, Pauline. Hi, Miss Babe. Hi, what's up, girl? <laughs> Fine, thank you. <laughs> we are going to discuss the five trending stories this week. So, when you know about trans music and the latest fashion, then you are in the right place. We'll be back after the break. See ya. Welcome back to the Niaje Vibes Show. We told you we'll be discussing the five trending stories this week. So, number one, we want to talk about JB's prank. Of course, it has to be the epic JB Masanduku prank. <laughs> it is actually one of the best pranks I've ever seen. And I'm so proud to say it was done by our blog. Yeah, JB was the mastermind, but we were happy at the Niaje team to work with him. And it came out so perfectly. It was so perfect that, um, <laughs> I can't believe I just repeated that. But, <laughs> <It> always does. <laughs> <laughs> I meant... Tina Kagia had no idea. She this had prank no was idea. Done. And she reacted and she said that she has an even bigger prank prepared for JB Masanduku next year. So, you guys, you better watch out next year because Tina is coming up. Babe. Where you're missing is that we decided to spice up the prank and we did an epic apology where JB came out and he's like, I do not have one baby mama. I, I have seven. <laughs> so, number two, we want to talk about Kalecha Mumo. Yeah. My home girl. Everybody is a home girl then again, but no. it's cool. It's Pauline. We let her. <laughs> so Kalechia Momo, she's looking lovely. We love that she's big, she's beautiful, and she's proud of it. I love her looks. She was looking amazing. I love, I love everything that you know. All the trends that she had on that uh, on the show on her K24 show. You know, one of the greatest things is actually knowing your body and how to dress your I body. And Kalechia has yeah. mastered the art of dressing her body, and she is looking good. So number three, we want to talk about Mark Masai. <gasps> Oh my god. Someone has to sob. I can't believe this. I want to sob right now because I know so many Kenyan ladies are going to sob with me. So, Guys, Mark Masai is taken. Mark Masai is taken. And he announced that officially on the Crossover 101 show. Mm-hmm. He said that he proposed to his fiancée, Fiona Nduta. And she said yes. Uh, why Girl, you? won't you just like say no and give us others a chance? <laughs> she can't get over this guy. Yes, Do something. Masai, you're a handsome dude. Let's appreciate you. You're being handsome and you're being taken. Mark Masai, just move on. <laughs> yeah, well, she was totally obsessing over Shafi last week, but I'll let it pass. You know, Shafi, Shafi, no, 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 no. <laughs> Story number four. So, number four, Vera Siddika. Reports claim that Vera Siddika <laughs> was kicked out of the show because she had diva demands and she came to Kiss FM because she apparently called out Kaleche Mu, uh, who is it? <laughs> Kale Mu Choko on her unprofessionalism and we wrote that story too. But the, the, the good thing about this is that uh, Vera Siddika, you were kicked out or you kicked yourself out. So, She's you're so not mean. my, my gain, our gain. Actually, so we're coming up and we're actually looking forward to seeing if we can host such a show. Oh my god, Pauline, you are so mean. I love that Vera Siddika came to Kiss and she was like, no, I do not love Vera Siddika. We love her shoes. We do not love Vera Siddika. We love her shoes and handbags and nice clothes. Yes. But I'm just saying. She she traveled to Dubai. I want to be there. Back to the story. Okay. Vera Siddika, she came to Kiss and she said that you don't have to strip your clothes. Yes, that's what we've been waiting for. What? I know. She, like, she said that, but she was yeah. stripping the Girls, whole time. So. Beauty feds, class is forever. Keep it classy. You'll always go forward. And while we are on that Vera tip, another socialite who's recently converted into a decent girl is Laika. She has a really great song out there. She converted. She converted because she is actually said, really and you wrote an article, she said, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Laika said that she has finally realized that you do not have to strip your clothes to be public. And she did a song and it's great. It's called Like Her Song. It's like, can you hear Like Her Song? They are sad to announce the passing away, passing on of a gospel artist, a renowned gospel artist, It's Kaberere. Yeah, uh, he passed on this past Sunday. Um, news has it that he was electrocuted when he was washing a car. Yeah. He's a young soul and he was des- definitely destined for greatness but mm-hmm. God has his plans and we are sure wherever he is he's dancing with the angels. Yeah too. So let's keep uh, praying for the family, the expectant wife, uh, the son and also his parents and the girl's parents as they go through this hard time. Let's all uh, remember that everything that happens, it happens, happens for, for a reason. The, for a reason and for the glory of God. So. Wherever he is right now, I'm sure he's resting in peace. Yeah, he's definitely.